Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode one of my Let's Play Mind Over Magic on the hardest difficulty setting available. The difficulty settings were recently overhauled, so I thought it would be fun to kind of do a new Let's Play since my old one. Um, honestly, the game has changed so much since the start, I just don't think it's a good representation of like how you play Mind Over Magic anymore. So um, I'm going here to difficulty settings, and we're going to change everything to as high as it can go. So our daily mage score increase is extreme, which is going to increase the mage score more every day. I think that's just going to mean that you're going to get more difficult events sooner. Our event duration is grueling. These events are going to last a long time. Our nightly fog advance is very large, and you'll see as soon as we boot up the game how much this impacts. And the fog is going to advance faster than before. Additionally, our options down here, we can increase the enemy HP to very high and enemy damage to very high. Uh, our mages are going to be in trouble. This is going to be um, definitely a challenge here. So the other thing that I want to do is I want to randomize the room keywords. And because this is a let's play, I'm not going to use Iron Mage save mode just because I might need to uh, re-record um, in some instances. So yeah, we're going to leave that off. I am Scout's Honor. I will not be save scumming if I lose a mage or if something bad happens, like we're just gonna roll with the punches and go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to rename this school Academy of the Eternal Horror. I think that sounds pretty fitting for uh, a difficult run. Who knows what these mages are gonna see? All right, so for our starting mages, I am definitely starting with one nature mage and one earth mage, and I have specifics for what I want. All right, here we go. These are going to be our starting mages. So I think that of the three starting races, humans are going to be the toughest to use, and that's because they're going to need to eat gut berries, and gut berries give minus 20 conviction. That is not great at the beginning of the game. So we're going to combat that by using Wolfkin and Vivified. So Wolfkin can eat rats, and Vivified don't get a debuff from eating gut berries. So they should both be good. Um, I also chose a Wolfkin for my Earth Mage because I want them to have additional speed. And this um, token here actually gives uh, five extra speed as well. So this Wolfkin is like exceptionally fast. They should be able to Earth Armor before anybody else. Now, Earth Armor at level 1 is not that great. It only adds 60 armor, and most enemies can chew through that in one hit. But it's still useful. Um, I also like having a Vivified because they're just naturally tankier, and we're going to be taking damage. That's just the name of the game when you're playing with enemies that deal... Um, incredible damage like with the settings we've got. So I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, let's go ahead and start. All right, so the mage that I want to repel the fog first, I think, I'm not sure here. I think we should probably go with Camille, who's our earth mage. Um, the reason this matters is they get a permanent plus five mood buff. I think Damien will be a little easier to uh, make happy. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's just start by queuing up some tasks here. Okay, and let's mess with priorities. All right, so we've got our priorities fixed here. Our nature mage is going to be doing the nature things. Our earth mage will be doing the earthy things like constructing and mining. And our founder's ghost, I've prioritized hauling, research, and assembling because the other mages aren't great at those. I'm also going to update schedules here. Okay, so we've removed all eating blocks from our staff and students. So they're not going to eat by default. When they get hungry, they're going to go on this hungry schedule. And that is just a custom group that I made here for 
mages that don't have satisfied, don't have full, and aren't grip, who is our founder. So when they get hungry, they will immediately go to this hungry schedule and eat. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You can already see just how far the fog tendrils are coming. It's going to happen fast. And we're going to need wood and gut berries to push the fog back. I do think for the first few days, we're just going to build down here near the mana font. Um, since resources are limited. Let's go ahead and get a arcane secretary started here. And then hopefully we can research chess before the end of the day. Although I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Maybe we build two secretaries. <clears throat> We're also going to need a cot. And you know, I might just build two cots. Hope we don't have the wood yet. That's fine. Okay. The other thing I want to do, and this is like so manual, but... We're going to move all these resources so that um, the fog doesn't get them. I know the fog is still pretty far out there, but I really don't think that we'll be able to research chests before the fog comes in. So in order to save all of our stuff, we'll just manually move it down here. All right, no research selected. Let's fix that. The first two research that I am going to go for are all the way on the left over here. Put stuff here and dancing the night away. So put stuff here is going to give us chests, which are going to be very important for saving our resources. And dancing the night away is going to give us the enchantophone, which will allow us to get recreation for our mages. So they should be very happy with that. Alrighty, looks like we're moving everything. Slowly but surely. I know moving all this stuff is like super tedious, but I don't have a better option. Okie doke, let's do a regular repel fog. It's going to cost four gut berries, 34 wood. That should hopefully give us enough space to keep one or two of these trees. Um... We'll see, though. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. Keep a bit of stuff over here. The other good news is that's going to leave us a few rats in case Camille gets hungry. I'm also going to make a wand shaper, and I'm just going to throw it over here near the uh, student summoner. All right, so we can make our chests now. Yay. Just going to throw one like right there. Right there. There we go. That looks good. And what I'm going to do with these chests is I'm going to uncheck seeds from all but one of them. You know what, this one can be our seed chest. So I'm just gonna say seeds in this one. Because seeds will clutter up your chest. There's so many different seeds. Unchecking seeds from this one, we're gonna copy settings and paste them to both of these chests when they're done. And paste settings, okay, there we go. No seeds in these chests. Now we can also store all of this stuff. Okay. Perfect. We are good to go. Now, since the fog is so close, our regular repel fog ritual is actually free, so we're going to go ahead and do it. All right, that gave us very little breathing room. Let's go ahead and get some wands made. So the fire wand only costs wood. That's nice. The air wand costs some sinew, which we don't actually really have right now. Um, so I'm going to do a fire and a water. Water is actually like fairly decent in the beginning. 
I, I've come to enjoy water um, students just for their ability to cure some diseases. And also they do decent damage from the back line and we're going to be doing a lot of fighting. <laughs> All right, let's see if any of our, yes, our wands are done. Let's go ahead and summon these students. And I guess we're also going to need to uh, make sure that they've got beds. Oops, nope, that's the wrong spot. Okay, and our students are actually going to be the ones hauling. And you can summon a water student. All right, Audrey, we got another wolfkin. That's good. I'm just hoping that we don't get a human. Okay, perfect. So we got another Wolfkin and another Vivified. That's awesome. Best case scenario, basically. We shouldn't have any issues with conviction for them. You know, unless something bad happens. <laughs> Which is always a possibility. Now that we've got students, though, we can actually do the Superior Repel Fog Ritual. We'll just go ahead and harvest these trees and then get going on that. All right, we can do it now. Let me go ahead and have Buttercup do this. All right, let's see how far back it goes. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay. So we've got a murky crystal over there, just two murky crystals for some smoke pearl, which we're just gonna skip. And then over here, we didn't get any per, uh, crystals, so that's okay. We could probably use a few of these rats. Um, I don't think we've been hunting very much. I do want to leave enough rats so that they can, uh, wolfkins can eat, since they're partial to the rats. We also need to get some of these ores so that we can build the enchantophones when we research them. How's that going? We're nearly there. Wonderful. Um, another thing we haven't done yet is look at rooms. So our austere bedroom, we're going to need elevated for that. That's kind of a pain, but that's okay. Our workshop, we need grounded. Okay, that's easy. We can go ahead and do that right now. Just going to... Do something like this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this will be perfect. So this down here will be our workshop. This right here will be our austere bedroom, and this right here we can use as a classroom. And it seems that our research is done. The next thing that I'm going to get is actually over here, critical care. We need these medical beds just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and build... Oh, we haven't finished the enchantophone yet. Let's have Camille come and mine these real quick. Oh, hope we didn't lose anything. I wasn't paying attention to our resources. And I guess we can update schedules now as well. So we're going to do two recreation times right at the very beginning and then two more like 11 hours in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That should be good. Oh, you can stop this. Sorry, sorry. Go get some rest. I'm just going to throw this enchantophone right here and have Grip go ahead and assemble it so that it's ready by the time they wake up. That should be good. I'm adding just a few more wands here, Earth Wand, Nature Wand, but I'm going to pause them. I'm also going to make all of these do until one and just pause them. There we go. Okay. We don't really have very much wood right now, so we should actually probably remedy that. 
no research selected. Wonderful. So our medical beds are done. We're going to go ahead and come over here to gut berries and research these just so that we don't run out of food. Because we really don't have that much right now. And I don't... S okay, there's at least one gut berry that's ready to harvest. All right, check it out. Everybody is looking pretty happy now that we've got some recreation. Love to see it. Since this room is almost done, I'm going to go ahead and move these arcane secretaries up here. You know, I think we only need one. I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle this one. And we will move the wand shaper as well. All right, and we are also going to need some lighting. So I'm feeling green for this room. I think we're going to need four. All right, so we've got some extra research and crafting speed. That's pretty nice. Up here, we don't have the viscera for a learning stone yet. And honestly, I'm happy with the kids just... Um doing odds and ends around here, like storing wood. Why are they not storing wood? Oh, he's eating. Okay, yeah, they're busy. They're busy little bees. That's okay. That's what they should be. Uh, I think that, oh, we still we need more gut berries to push the fog back again. Hmm. All right, well, we can make our gut berry planters, so I am definitely going to do that right now. Uh oh, out of stone. Oh, that was enough. Okay. Three, so I'm going to cancel this one. And instead, build it right there. And then we can move all these cots over here to our new austere bedroom. Looks like a very cozy bedroom. We'll just say that. All right, we're going to need everybody, all hands on deck, to haul everything. Because the fog is very close. Also, the fog is definitely going to eat up this room if it touches it. We can do a superior repel fog, though, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Wonderful. All right, all of our stuff is safe now. All right, I think two gutberry planters will I think two gutberry planters will be enough. All right, so we're missing research right now. So, yeah, I actually think we're going to get this one because it's going to let us get viscera, which we need to make torches. So, um that'll be a really good way to keep that production line going rather than having to hunt rats constantly. We're still going to hunt rats constantly. Okay, let's check on our students, see what trials they've got. So Audrey here, who is our fire student, needs to eat in a room with no other students or staff present. They need to defeat two one-skull parties without using potions. Well, we don't have any potions, so... And they need to cast a learning stone 25 times while at or above 75 conviction. I mean, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Rain is incoming as well. What are you doing? Okay. I don't think we have any resources on the ground, so we should be good. And let's go ahead and finish building our torches. Yeah, we can use blue torches over here in the bedroom. Okay. And I do think that I would like to start training these students up. So we're going to go ahead and build you right there. All right, the rain is here. And it looks like they'll be able to start training today, so that's wonderful. I do think that training students up a little bit faster 
is pretty important. Like once we start fighting, it would be wonderful if we could have these students at three skills in their main wand. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. It's it's kind of steep, but we'll try. I also think that I do not want my nature mage teaching. I want them out there harvesting all the things. Specifically wood, because we are low on that. Um, okay, we are missing gut berries to be able to... Uh, Superior health. Okay, we got them now. Let's go ahead and get this ritual done. I think part of um, what we need to focus on is really keeping the fog out um, so that we've got access to all these resources. Uh, that's going to be kind of tough at the beginning, but hopefully soon we'll be able to consistently keep it pushed out. To about this level, you know, I just don't want to get it closer than this. And I think to do that, we're going to need to focus on these trees. Specifically. Okay. We are doing that. Ooh, better get those gut berries. Let's check lights. Okay, we're good. Everything is well lit. That's what we like to see. Oh, and everybody's still focused on hauling. That's a mistake. I'll go ahead and leave the uh, the ghost as a hauler, but our main two mages don't need to be hauling. That's probably why things were getting done so slow. What are you doing now? Oh, recreation. All right, our research is done for the midden jelly, so we'll go ahead and make one of them. And then I'm going to come over here and get hardy foliage so that we can start um, planting trees. I think that'll be really important for us. So in our crafting tab, I'm going to snag the min jelly right here. And I'm just going to put it right here next to the door. Also, I'm going to build a few chests over here. Looks like we're almost out of daylight. All right, Audrey is grabbing this. Okay, nope. Damien, you can store that. Perfect. All right, we got it all. Sorry if I sound a little congested. It's because I am recovered. I've literally been sick three times in the past two months. It's like, can't catch a break. Oh, and we still need to make our medical beds now. Go ahead and finish mining this iron, and then we'll go ahead and do that. I just love that the ghost phases through walls now. It just makes things so much faster. They're just a really good mage now because of it. So much faster than basically everybody else, especially at storing. All right, so we can already do another repel fog, so let's just get it done. Be cutting into a little bit of sleep and maybe a little bit of recreation, but that's okay. All right, our midden jelly is done, so let's go ahead and add some orders. So we're going to add viscera, do until. We'll just do 20 for now, and we'll do the same with sinew. Do until 20. Oh my gosh. And ectoplasm, we will do until 20 as well. Perfect. All right. So let's look at one of the new rooms here, our medical room, nurse's office. So for this, we need lofted. That shouldn't be too bad. We can do something like this. Our room is three wide and four tall. That is lofted. Now we don't have quite enough for the second medical bed yet. 
but we will soon. And we're pretty low on stone as well, so maybe we should get some of that. How are the students doing? Um, they're doing okay. Not tons of educating going on. Why aren't they? Oh, let's get rid of that. I don't like that in the middle of the day. There's a lot of materials to bring back right now. Also, we're not getting a whole lot of research done. Maybe we'll kind of pause it on the uh, gathering after we've done everything that I've queued up. We'll let them bring all the materials back and then get some research done. Oh, wonderful. Audrey actually finished this. I didn't think they'd have enough conviction to, to get this. Cast one stone 25 times while above 75 conviction. That's fine with me. I'm thinking for our medical room, we can make that red. And yeah, we'll need two of these. It looks like one adds 44% light, so we need 50. And actually, I think I want them on this side. Why is this just too busy over here? Because there's going to be a second medical bed right here. Oh, and we've got the iron now, so that's perfect. I mean, this room is, like, ridiculous. How cramped. But it works. And it's lofted. Right, it is lofted. Yeah, it is. Grounded and lofted. Wonderful. Um, the other thing we can start looking at is building the conservatory. Which we'll need two enchanted phones, and it needs to be skewed and lofted. Um, I mean, we still need a bunch of luxury for that, so, um, not super concerned with getting this just yet, but we'll just try to keep that in mind as we're expanding upwards. I just said I would stop making orders as I make a bunch of orders. I guess one of the bad things about doing the food schedule like this is, like, Camille just got up in the middle of the night to eat. And she had already had, like, a bad night's sleep before because I <laughs> pulled her in the middle of the night to, uh, do a ritual. That's okay. I think she'll be good still. Yeah, she's got... She'll have plenty of sleep. We, we will do another repel, superior repel fog ritual. I'm thinking we'll wait until... Probably, like, halfway through this first recreation block. Let them get a little bit of recreation in. How's our research going? Ooh, it's not going well. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh my gosh, a fog incantation. And it's going for the room they're sleeping in. Alright, so here's the deal. This fog incantation, incantation battle is going to be quite the challenge right now since our students really are not trained up at all um i am not confident that we can beat it especially if there's three enemies in the battle so what i'm gonna do is just let it happen and we're gonna build some new cots somewhere else and it won't be a austere bedroom but at least they'll have a spot to sleep There we go, four cots, wonderful. Everybody's waking up, getting a little recreation in, pretending like their bedroom just isn't there. And now let's repel some fog. Yeah, so this battle is going to despawn in about five days and that's fine we'll just we'll just leave it there no big deal once the battle does despawn everything in the room is going to be broken but that is not very bad 
all things considered. I'm gonna go ahead and make this wood over here a four because wood is so vital and we don't have that much. We also could use some gut berries. Now that we're growing them though, our gut berry needs shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to have enough gut berries for everybody to eat and we're pushing back the fog. Oh, we've got a dull crystal over here. We can get some decorative rugs. We'll go ahead and do that. I did notice that over here there's a wild tab now and you can see what exactly you have available. So we've got three murky crystals, which those are the ones that just give smoke pearl. And we've got some surface rocks. We've got plants. You can see all the different plants that are available over here. So it's pretty awesome that they added this. I think it's it definitely makes it a lot easier to manage um, the resources on the field. So you don't have to like, where's Waldo, the, the crow a nest? Oh, we are definitely going to need these to be increased priority, though. Let's get these cots made, please. Um, we'll increase your assembling priority here. Yeah, our group was about to be really ticked off when they didn't have a spot to sleep tonight. Well, not the wolfkins, but the, the vivified would have. And speaking of, just to make sure that we've got this... Damien and Buttercup are the ones that need to sleep in a cot. So I just manually assign them over here. Um, the Wolfkins, Camille, and Audrey, it doesn't really matter if they sleep in a cot or not. As long as they don't sleep in the rain. Alright, stone, wood, we're pretty good on that. Animal parts, we're good on sinew and viscera. Plant parts, we're pretty good on ice petal and phoenix flower and smoke stick. Or our chests. Meals, we've got 27 gut berries. Yeah, I'm thinking we're pretty good right now. Be happy with, with this little base so far. I think our mages are pretty happy. We haven't gone anywhere close to breaking. Now, at the same time, we haven't started doing any battles yet. So I do think that um, we would probably we can't decide if we should start exploring the spine or not. Um, I think it would be good just in case we get like an event under here, we can be like more prepared for it. We don't have to go through quite as many battles. So I do think that that um, once our students have a little more training, we will go ahead and start doing some battles and hopefully get them there battling um, medals. So this one needs to defeat two one score higher party members without using potions. And this one just needs to defeat a party while full. So that shouldn't be too bad. And actually, Buttercup is going to get all of her trials done. Those are, seem pretty easy, so that's good. rooms we've got good rooms we've got our workshop our nurse's office our basic classroom we could i mean we did have an austere bedroom um let's go ahead and look at our research all right we're still not doing great on research um since we're doing pretty well on materials i think i'm gonna pump up have you research more we need to get that out of the way so that we can start farming wood. Uh oh. Alright, let's have... We need to haul. Okay, there's nothing over here. It's just all over here. And that's fine. I think the students will be able to get it in this time period. Maybe not. They're kind of taking their time. Forget how slow students are. Okay, even if we don't get them all before the rain starts, we'll get them all before the 
they disintegrate. All right, a rain falls. Thankfully, we're all roofed. We've got most of our resources already put away. We're good. And Camille, you can go ahead and teach. Because I want these students trained. Okay, wonderful. This one's getting its wand element up. This one is too. I think if you're doing a max difficulty challenge like this, you definitely need to take it slow. Like, don't push it. Don't start doing battles just because, at least not this early. Just gather your resources, make a stockpile of, of necessary items, especially items that you need for the superior repel fog ritual, which we need to do, actually. Um, so for the first uh, bit, you're going to need gut berries and, and wood. I believe after that, you need to make sure to have wormweed. I don't remember what the other uh, resource is that goes with wormweed, but maybe we'll see right here. Nope, this one's smoke stick, phoenix flower, and ice petal. That's after wormweed. So we definitely need pick this stuff up. Do not want it going bad. Oh, a spectral rift has appeared. A lesser torch snuffer will appear in four hours. Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> We will go ahead and do this battle. And these cut berry seeds, not too concerned about them. All right, everybody's sleeping right now. We'll let them get a little bit more sleep and then we'll start this battle. Let's see, did they... Okay, good. They're both level two of their main wand. Type, so got some more abilities that'll be really helpful let's just go ahead and do this we're gonna throw our earth and nature mages in the front row water and fire in the back row all right let's get this done oh perfect it's just one now this is a torch snuffer and its attacks drain 20 mana its attack does 80 damage which means it's going to do more damage than my earth armor which is only 60 so not only are we going to take 20 damage when it hits, but it's also going to reduce their mana by 20. So, and it's got 360 health. That's that's pretty rough. So what I'm going to do is put Vengeance on the front row. And that's going to give us just some passive damage. Um, we're going to use a Surging Strength on the back row, I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking Growth, maybe. Yeah. Surging Strength is really good with you've got an air, but we don't have an air, so. Um, power by seven. Yeah, that's not enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with Torrent, I think, just to do some extra damage. And we're going to use another Earth Armor. Fireball. And Rogue. Yeah. Now, okay, we're going to use Torrent. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to move you to the back row and switch with our Water Mage and pass to get some mana. The Fireball over here. Ooh, you don't have very much mana. You're already out. Oh my goodness. And basically, because the Water Mage does more damage in the back row, what we're going to do is move it to the back row, attack, and then when the Earth Mage's turn comes up again, they're going to switch again. So, ooh, ouch. You're pretty hurt. But what can you do? Okay, so moving and passing. Gotta pass. Oh my gosh. We're out of mana. Ah! And then, again, water mage is in the front row, which is not good for their damage, so I'm gonna move them to the back row and cast torrent. Okay. 
you, my friend, just need to pass. And our Earth Mage should have enough mana, yeah, to do Earth Armor, which is going to lure the attack over to them. <coughs> Alright, we win now. That was that was tough. That was one single enemy and that was tough. <laughs> we'll make sure everybody that is hurt prioritizes getting medical rest. And yeah, we do have the water level up, so healing pretty quickly. Why are you not healing? Medical rest. I'm really not sure why they weren't. But oh well. Alright, well that wasn't too, too bad. Like, we definitely took some damage. And our teachers are going to be kind of out of commission for a bit. But, in the interim, the ghost can teach the students. So, it's not so bad. You will cancel that order so that you still get your other needs met. Oops. We just need all class now. Forgot that I swapped that out. And see, when I was talking about doing the battle underground here, if we had done that, we would not have been full health for that torch snuffer. And that may have that would have been really, really bad. But they're recovering pretty quickly. I think by the end of the day, we should be good in case something else happens. Yeah, see, this Torrent 2 is actually going to do 45, 45 damage. That's that's pretty good. Audrey's going to get Fireball 2, which is going to do 30 damage or 60 damage if it crits. Audrey's problem is Fireball costs 20 mana, so she can only use it four times. And they don't have any mana trials or medallions, so um, that's unfortunate. All right, our research just got done, so I'm actually going to come over here and do rituals next. So we're going to get basic rituals and ritual accessories. Basic rituals is going to give us the ritual sigil, which means that we'll be able to graduate students and hire them on as staff, which is going to be monumental to our run. We're definitely going to need that soon. Um, past that, we're going to get the Solemn Pedestal, which adds luxury, and that's going to allow us to make the Conservatory to give our um, mages some extra conviction when they recreate. So that's kind of the plan there. Let's see how it goes. Um, the other thing is, we're once we do get the Ritual Sigil, we're just going to put it right down here. Um, just for ease of use. And not to take up room up here. Also, the upgrades for it require grounded, I believe. Yeah, grounded, grounded. Um, ooh, grounded and lofted. Ooh. So anyways, we, we can make the auditorium down here, though, which is just going to need grounded. So that'll be cool. Not in this room. This doesn't count as a room, but like once we get into the underground area. All right, Damien, still recovering. I guess you should probably refill the medical beds. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, medical beds are refilled. Why is Buttercup sleeping right now? That's odd. It's very odd. Oh, whoops. I definitely let this get really close. Let's fix that. And another thing we need to do, since our research got done, we can go ahead and make our trees. I'm just going to throw it over here. I th Well, where does it fit? I don't have like any room for it right now. Actually, we don't need to delete that. Perfect. And actually, I think I'm gonna move it right. Oops. 
one, two, right here. Then we can fit some uh, some bitter rice right in between here. Okay, things are looking good. So our invasion over here is going to last another 2.1 days. That's not too bad. And Damien is fully healed now. So what I'm thinking is we go ahead and start under school battle. Well, no. Hmm. I would really like these students to get done learning first, and then we can do more under school battles. Like, the increase to their power is going to be pretty significant. But once that happens, then we will do under school battles and start unlocking stuff there. I mean, we're going to need to. We're a little behind in that regard, I think. I, If we get a... Uh, Corrupted Mana Lantern that's very deep in. It could take us a while to get to it. But we're doing so well on Conviction, it's probably not going to be the end of the world, If even if we have to live with it for um, quite a few days. Oh boy. High stink arises. Air waxes and lightning wanes, so we don't have air mages or lightning mages. So that's no big deal. Um... The negative is that anybody eating gut berries is going to suffer an additional conviction penalty. Now, I don't think that's going to affect our vivified. So again, great reason why to use vivified. And it's definitely not going to affect our wolfkin since they're eating rats. Yummy, yummy rats. So all to say, high stink, not a big deal if you've got just vivified and wolfkin. So pretty nice. Also, this event is going to last a really long time, like, because we increase the amount of times that events last. Like, holy cow. Y'all get ready for this, because it's going to be around for, like, four days, maybe, in-game. Oh, and our students are both done learning, so I think what I'm going to do is add a new group. And we're going to call this Fully Trained. And we're going to stay if they are a student. And not status. And they are skill capped. Is capped. Then they are fully trained. And we're going to give them a fully trained schedule. Some rec time there. All right. And we're going to say fully trained, so we no longer need to be training them. Let's battle them, though. We can go ahead and summon a new student, too. Oh, going to need to make a wand for that, I guess. Um, I wouldn't mind another Earth student, just in case something happens to our Earth Mage. I also think a Lightning student would be good. Yeah. Maybe I'll do an air student, too. Oh, gosh, three belchers. These belchers are each going to do 50 damage. That's 150 damage this turn. That's a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually going to move. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, this is... I, I think this is the best move. So even with earth armor, Camille can't last if all three of them hit her. Um, 80 plus 60, that's 140 health, basically, that she'd have. So that's not enough. So we're going to move her to the back row and use Earth Armor back there. And swap our Vivified up Buttercup up to the front row. Now, on the back row here, we're going to cast... Um, I don't think we're going to do Vengeance. I don't know. Maybe we should. Yeah, I did it. I mean, that's a free, like, 45 damage every turn. Um, so you, you're going to move the back row, and you're going to attack. That's just what you do. And we're going to say Surging Strength back there. I think that's going to be the play. I'm not 100% sure. Now, the negative here is that... This one doesn't have... Oh no. 
We've got to move you here. We're going to say vengeance on the front row. Okay. rough i'm not 100 percent sure if how clean this is gonna be we might somebody might go down um but you know what we gotta do okay they can live through two attacks that's perfect you need to pass Okay, we're gonna torrent. We're just gonna go for this one now. Growth over here. Get some armor. You, oh my goodness. Oh, this isn't good. Hmm. Nope. Our earth mage might die. Yep, they are. Shoot. That's unfortunate. Um, we're going to go ahead and torrent. This does a lot of damage, so we're going to do it over there. And growth doesn't do that much. We're going to kill that one. We do have enough. Hopefully it crits. Oh, no. It's okay. Okay. So first thing we need to do is revive. I guess we should put everybody's aid skill up there. Help them. All right. Revive. Okay, we do need wormweed pods for that revive ritual, and something tells me this probably isn't our last one. So we're going to go ahead and get those. Camille was revived and immediately went to go dance, because that's just what you do. All right, so they got a trauma misfiring wand. A trauma that increases the mage's misfire chance. All things considered, that is not too bad. Also, I love that traumas don't last quite as long as they used to. Like, before it just felt like a death sentence when you got a trauma. But now, like, eight days, like, that's not good. But even if it's a really bad trauma, you can hopefully last for eight days. Oh, shoot, we need to... Push the fog back yet again. We'll let you go ahead and heal. So, Damien, how about you come out and do this? And that's going to be 1.3 more days. I think what I'd like to do is build another cot and then summon another student, too. Didn't we make another wand? Earth, lightning... I think I wanted an air wand too. Where's air? Just keep passing it. Have you... Let's do the earth wand first, especially since... Camille just went down. Having a backup would not be a bad thing. Okay, we'll let the day play out. And then we'll, uh summon them now when we summon this one if it's a human or a raven cult or a shattered i mean that's not going to be great <laughs> that means that they'll have to eat gut berries and um it's the high stink so maybe we actually say let's get rustic gourmet and rustic dining before we get Ritual accessories. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off summoning that new student until we get those researches complete. The fog laughs mockingly. Fog seems to gloat about its recent victories, but it doesn't seem to be doing any harm for now. I'm not exactly sure what this means. I've seen it a few times in my other playthrough. Um, I guess we'll see. Oh, I forgot that Buttercup needed to be full when she did that battle. Whoops. It's my bad. I guess the students can't uh, 
refill medical beds. Um, we definitely need wood, though. We are, like, basically out. So I'm going to focus on that with the ghost while Damien... I guess Damien can do it, too, since Audrey also needs to get some medical rest. It's going to be kind of boring today because everybody's hurt. Um... I feel bad hiring a student right now because I'm not really going to be able to train them. Like, so yeah, maybe we hold off hiring the student until everybody's recovered. And we've got some of these tasks completed. We could do a repel fog. Oh, okay. You know how I was talking about um, repel fog needing wormweed? Well, it also needs viscera when you're at that stage. So I actually probably do this. I think that would actually be a good idea. All right, we pushed it out pretty far this time. It's going to give us a good amount of uh, wiggle room here. And we got a dull crystal, so we'll get a uh, new rug. Focus on this. All right, Camille's healed up. Damien is nearly healed up. Audrey is um, a little further than halfway there. That is great to see. How's Buttercup's food satisfied? Mm. Try to catch Buttercup when she's fully... Well, when she's full. And then we can do some more battles down here. Maybe unlock a little more... Uh, another wing. And this battle is going to go away in nine hours. So we'll be able to use that austere bedroom again. That'll be nice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and summon the student now. Let's do that Earth student. And then I'm thinking... I'm not a big fan of Audrey. They just don't have enough mana to be a fire mage. So... No, Curtis. He's a raven cult. That is like... Worst case scenario here. Dance 30 times for one water. Defeat some enemies for speed and mana. And some extra power. I mean, I would like to fast track Curtis to graduation. So what we're going to do is we're going to graduate Audrey. And I don't think it really matters who does it. We'll go ahead and let Damien do it. Get a little buff. And then, as soon as they're graduated, we're going to summon an air student, I think. Alright, graduation complete. Let's get this air student. Yes. Oops. Wish I could just disable tutorials altogether. I wonder if you can. Oh, tutorial enabled. Oh, huh. There we go. Okay. You can disable tutorials. Did you know you can disable tutorials by going to the gameplay tab and unclicking tutorial enabled? Like and subscribe for more tips. <laughs> um, for real though, I do have a few new tips videos planned. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I've done one, but I think that the game has changed so much since um, when I originally released those videos. I kind of want to do like updates on them. Um, not all of them, just the main, like, gameplay tips and um, stuff like that. So, uh, look out for those soon. Soon is in, in the next few weeks. Um, I don't have a script made or anything like that, so it's going to be a minute still. I think this will work. And we can have five in there. This room is honestly like really awkwardly sized. It's it's not ideal. All right, Danny, our air mage. Let's see what their trials are. Oh, overcome the burrower larva. <laughs> That's not happening any anytime soon. Cast with at least six staff or student present and go two days in a row without craving recreation. I mean, we can do that one, but the other ones probably not so much. I don't know, maybe we go crazy and hire a bunch of students, like... 
I guess that wouldn't be so bad. Um, because Danny's actually a decent air mage. They'd get five power there. They've got two power there. And they start with ten power. So that would be like 17 power. So this would do 20 times three. This would do 60 damage. That's a lot. And if we give them the buff, um, the nature buff, what's it called? Surging strength. That would be 100 damage for one hit. That's pretty amazing. I think that we'll go down that path. Um, speaking of, I actually think, yeah, let's finish ritual accessories over here. And we can go ahead and let's look and see what we need for the um, scullery. We just need private. So what we can do here is... Or hallway and why didn't this work? Oh, we're out of wood. Um, let's cancel this. Let's cancel all of this and let's get some wood because that's a resource that we definitely need. I'm trying to select this wormweed. There we go. Because I would like to get that out of the way and then plant some bitter rice. So we can have some alternatives to gut berries since the high stink is rising and Curtis is already ready to break. That took no time at all. And he's still got the new student buff. Like, I kind of think that we should just expel Curtis. I It's just not going to be good. Our research is done. We'll have to fix that in just a sec um okay our research is done so what can we get next so we've got a few options here we can go for beds and windows which would let us make um like indoor growing areas it would also let us make bedrooms which is pretty nice that that's uh if we're not going to get that next we're going to get that really soon over here we could get um supports which also comes with earth tier two wands now to make them we would need potions of recharging which we can't make yet um but we could go down this way and get foundations to expand our school and ladders which are always great um this that would also give us support columns to allow us to build hallways um i'm not sure about that um we'll probably skip that for now but come back to it um in a bit probably after um we get beds and windows over here, we could go more cooking path, but this is going to be quite a bit of investment, and I'm not ready to commit yet. We don't have a good cook. Um, on the blue paths, we've got some good options here. We could go for the candelabra. Um, I think I'm going to skip that, though. We could go for alchemy and um, then get the flasks, so potion of recharging. That is not a bad idea. I think that getting some potions early on, um, very helpful when the battles are as difficult as they are. However, I think what I'm actually going to do is come over here and get quilting um, so we can get some quilted carriers. That's going to be monumentally helpful. That'll also let us get the quilted sweeps, which will make up for some of the mess with the alchemist station and the cooking pot, the gruel pot. So we'll get the sweeps. Then we'll come over here and get um, probably these two nodes. So boil and bubble to get the alchemist station and then pick me ups to make the more advanced potions here. Finally, we will come over here and get the beds and windows to make some better rooms. And once we're done with that, we'll um, kind of analyze where we're at, I think. Anyways, we needed a bunch of wood to do some building. And I think we are getting close there. Let's go ahead and... Get these two before the day ends. Dang, taking forever to repair all this stuff. It doesn't help that they're misfiring because of that trauma. 
That's okay. We're not in any rush. They've got beds down here. This is just... I guess we can start assigning people here. Dang, so many misfires. Uh, we're also ready to... Oh, I hope we got all that wood. I didn't even know... It doesn't look like we did. Um, let's repel this fog. Alright, we need to look for Buttercup to be full so that they can finish their last trial. Because I would actually... Oh, we don't have enough Adept Scrolls. <clears throat> I was going to say, Buttercup is actually like a decent fighter. Um, they've got like really high HP. They've got decent power. This would give them even more HP and a little bit of speed. Um, if we got that. Okay, a Spectral Rift just appeared. A Lesser Chest Smasher. So what I think I would like to do is um, have Buttercup eat something. Where's a gut berry? Show me the gut berry. Okay, go eat that. All right, now let's get this chest smasher. Um, between Curtis and Danny, does anybody need battles. I'm hoping Danny does. Dang, he doesn't. Curtis does, though. Mm. Well, too bad, Curtis, because we, I think, need Danny, because they, they have quite the amount of strength, so that will be very helpful in this battle. All right, so yeah, you can already see multi-strike is going to hit for 26 because, I mean, it's only level 1 right now. Once it gets to level 2, it'll it'll have another hit, so it'll hit for 39, but regardless, that's still pretty good. Um, I guess we should look and see how much damage the Chest Smasher does. Attacks an enemy, then chains... Oh my gosh, attacks an enemy, then chains twice. I'm not exactly sure what chains twice means, but I guess we'll see. We're going to earth armor. Multi-strike. Oh, yeah. Air is, is waxing, so they get two. Oh my gosh, how amazing is this? Well, that didn't even do enough damage to break the shield. This is actually a super easy battle. Maybe it would have done the chaining if, like, we didn't have the shield or something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. They got wrecked. Okay. Well, that was quite easy. Alright, I think I'm going to let... Um, I think I'm going to play until day 15 for episode 1. I think I'm going to try to do 15 days every episode. I want this to be a little more um, consistent than my last playthrough. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with that. And our research for Quilted just got done, so we'll go ahead and build the spindle in just a moment. And until then, we're going to set our research over here. So we're going to get Shine On first, which is Mana Lanterns. That's just very helpful. We don't have any mana crystals, so um, can't build them yet, but <clears throat> it's a prerequisite for the Alchemist Station. Um, once we get the Alchemist Station, we'll be able to make potions of rejuvenation, which require ectoplasm and ice petals. Um, continuing on down the road, we'll be able to make potions of recharging, which will be used to make tier two wands, as well as um, Bravery Potions and Revival Flasks. Those hopefully we won't really use too much of, if any at all. Um, but yeah, we'll start with this and go from there. <clears throat> While that is researching, we will go ahead and make the spindle, but we need more stone and iron. For the iron, we're going to have to battle in the underschool. For the stone, we've still got some stone nodes up here that we can take advantage of. So we could go in the lava mine for 50 iron. We could go down the spine for 10 iron. Or we could go here to the stone ruins for 10 iron. Um. Hmm. So I'm considering the lava mine, although I'm a little worried because I think that the enemies there might be a little tougher. 
But they're all one skull battles, so... Let's do it. Alright, everybody's fully healed, so... I have no concerns there. Alright, this one shouldn't be too bad. The Batkin is going to do 20 damage twice, so 40 damage in total. And the Lantern Keeper buffs an ally with 10 power, so... I mean, we're going to have to kill this Batkin as quickly as possible. Since if it gets the power buff, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh no, that wasn't good. Whoops. Um, okay, I should have done better math. Because, yeah, that's not perfect. That's not great. Um, the good news is... The Batkin is down. So now the Lantern Keeper is going to be doing 80 damage. We can... We can... We can... Take that. Okay. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, perfect. It's down. That was not great. Um, but you know what? We got a bunch of iron, so that's good. We gotta mine it, but that's okay. Oh, did it come with iron? Just like, yeah. It came with 50 iron, and then each of these has 25 iron, so it really came with 100 iron. That's pretty good. Um... Let's get Camille to a bed and resurrect them again, because they just don't have the best luck. Right. Hopefully this trauma isn't too bad. Anyways, this is why we got another Earth Mage. It's unfortunate that it's a Raven Cult, though, because there's no way that we're hiring them. Right, mana thirst. A trauma that causes all the mage spells to cost one more mana. Well, Camille is just mana hungry because they've got mana thirst and a misfiring wand. They're going to be using so much mana. Um, so for the next <laughs> five to eight days, Camille is really going to be a very poor worker. Um, I guess we can have them focus on teaching. I mean, once they're recovered, I think that would be the best bet. I don't think they use a lot of mana when they're teaching. I don't think misfires matter. I don't know if they can misfire when they're teaching. Maybe they can. We'll try to look at it when, when they're teaching. Oh no, a fog incarnation. Where's it going? Oh boy, it's going to the... It's going to the classroom. Hmm... What I'm thinking, we've got beds down here. That's fine. I am going to hunt this with the founder, though. Hopefully, we will be able to defeat this one. Okay, I don't want any students or staff up there. Um, could just build a cop, build another one down here for now. I think we're going to do that. Just make this a little, um, temporary classroom over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And we can just do a few of these. That'll look nice. Okay. I'm happy with this. Temporary solution here. Um, oh, we do not have enough wood to repel the fog, though. I do think that I'm going to have our founder, rather than focusing on research right now, I'd like them to chop, because we have been pretty low on wood for a while, and Damien is hurt. So, yeah. 
you know, I think chopping trees is going to be more important than building right now. Go chop those three and we should be good. Alright, Curtis is not doing great. Oh, I forgot. Still with the gut berries. Okay, let's just rush you to um to graduation as quickly as we can. Okay. Buttercup is unable to reach cot. Oh no, does that mean they slept on the floor? Relentless boredom. Alright, all the students have... Everybody has cots now, so... Um, hopefully we don't have that issue anymore. In here, you can just teach. It's not in a room, so they're not going to learn quite as quickly, but it's better than nothing. And I guess we could look at making the conservatory now. We need skewed and lofted. Well, I guess we should probably look at that after we clear this battle up here. Um, it's going to be tough to make a skewed and lofted room down here. I guess it wouldn't be impossible. We could do something like this. That's not... Um... I mean, this is pretty temporary, but I think this might work. Hopefully we can get enough um, luxury in there. Underscore fog ward depleted. I'm wondering. Uh, oh, I didn't realize there was a fog ward in there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's bring this enchantophone up here and build a second one, and then let's see what shrinks we've got. We've got some rugs. And we can build some pedestals. Yeah, I think we can do it. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, shoot. Um, I need to demolish these. Yeah, sometimes it gets weird when you try to build walls that are, like, high, but there's not much, like, space around them. We might actually have to tear down these walls over here on the right as well. Um, not really sure exactly. We don't actually even need this. We'll build it and then we'll move it over here, I think. This room has enough light, even with just one brazier. Slightly wonky roof, but that's okay. And we will move this. Let's actually move this one. Oops. Um... Okay, that is very, very close. <laughs> That's a little concerning. You know what, Curtis? You can do it. I believe in you. You know, we've got the materials to do another superior repel fog. I think we'll go ahead and do it in just a moment. Let's see here. 15 luxury. We're going to need 10 more luxury. Ooh, I thought it was 20, but it's actually 25. Ugh. It's okay. Okay, that should be enough. Have fun recreating in there. <laughs> like bumping into each other constantly, knocking stuff over. Oh, well. Um, all right, we've got the dining table as well, so we can look at making dining rooms. Let's see what we need for the dining room and the mess hall. For the dining room, which is going to be for the staff, we just need it to be lofted. And for the mess hall, it needs to be skewed. That's not too bad. Um, once we get this battle done with, we can go ahead and do those rooms up here. Um, I think that'll work really well. 
Curtis is a break risk. That's okay, they're nearly done with their training. So once they're done, we're just going to graduate them as quickly as we can. And then get ready to summon a new Earth student. And we can do another superior repel fog, so I would like to get that done. Um, Let's see what Buttercup's... Okay, Buttercup is all done, basically. Curtis just needs to dance some more. We can... Uh, We can force him to dance once he gets done training, which should be today. Danny, or Larva, that's not happening. Asked with a bunch of people present, that's probably not happening either. And then go two days without craving recreation. That shouldn't happen with his current schedule, so um, I think we'll be good there. Then I was going to try to get this because it adds 5 power and 5 speed. That's pretty awesome. Alright, well, dang, they're all done. Alright, Curtis. Let's go ahead and get you dancing. Alright, and this is a conservatory now. Wonderful. Make this purple. It's my favorite conservatory color, I think. All right. You know what we could do? They've got 150 health. That's actually pretty good. Let's try this battle. I'm gonna use Curtis up here and we'll go ahead and use Damien in the back row instead of our water mage. Actually, what if we go like this? No more Camille. And instead like this. Okay, okay. I think this is actually a pretty good team. Camille just is very frail. And since Earth Armor 1 isn't enough to block like anything, it's just not enough. Alright, I think this is good. Um, oh, we've also got Shield of Wind. How wonderful. Um, now the negative here is that Curtis isn't fast enough to outspeed this Lantern Keeper. So the Lantern Keeper is going to hit before Curtis even moves. Um, I am thinking, though... I'm going to throw a Shield of Wind on Curtis. Wonderful, that's perfect. Couldn't have worked out better. And this is going to hit for... Se oh, 70. Ooh. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay. And we're going to Surging Strength. And now let's blow him up. Youch. Okay. Okay. One down. Armor. Still gonna break my earth armor, but just barely. And that's fine. We're good. All right. Just why are you dancing and not rec and not healing yourself? Medical rest. While you're doing that, we'll go ahead and get some construction projects out of the way. Alright, so we wanted dining rooms. A dining room which needs to be lofted and a mess hall which needs to be skewed. We can do that. Will this work? 
I don't know. It looks ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's actually make the priority on these ones five so that we get those done before these roofs get put on. I think it's going to work, but I could be wrong. The, the roofs meeting each other might not work. Nope, it didn't work. Okay. Um... There's a way to do this. Why am I, like, drawing a blank right now? Okay. Um. Okay, I think I got it. We'll do that first. Okay, we're gonna cancel this little piece right here. And then... We're gonna throw some roof like this. Oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> and here's the the weird part that I think we're going to do. Once this is done, we're just going to throw a floor or maybe like a wall block like right here. And I think that's going to consider this. Hmm. No, I don't want to replace the floor. There we go. I think this is going to work. Is it skewed? Oh, it's not skewed. Crap. Why is it not skewed? Okay, maybe it's because the roof is so jacked up. Um, we might also might need to add... You know what? I really don't care that much. I'm just going <laughs> to do it like this. We can fix it when when we start building up further. This is going to be here for a while, so I don't think it's a huge deal. Oh, fog incantation approaches. Ah! Where's it going to? Oh, gosh, it's going to the classroom again. Right, grip. Get out there and hunt. You know, we'll have everybody hunt it. I don't think it can hurt. And students, you all need to go restore your mana. And you're already full. Okay, great. Alright, let's do this battle. We damaged it 14.8%. We damaged it 14.8%, so that should be pretty good. <laughs> I'm just going to use the same team as last time. That worked super well. Hopefully this battle isn't too bad. It's a one skull still, so that's good. Alright, three belchers. Um, kind of tough, but not impossible. Part of me wants to just use smash. No, I don't think that's responsible. Okay, that was awesome. Best case scenario there. Now let's start wrecking stuff. Alright, maybe I need to turn the battle speed down. I'll do double battle speed. I want you to be able to, like, see what's going on. I probably should have done that way sooner. There we go. Two down. Things are looking good. Now earth armor is enough to um, mitigate the entire attack, so we should be good. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling really confident right now. We we are killing it in the battles department. We're 
um, on our way to getting dining rooms for our students and our staff. We've got a conservatory. Look at all these rooms we've got. Oh my goodness. We've got a conservatory, classroom, nurse's office, workshop, another classroom, austere bedroom. We are going to have dining room and mess hall. Okay. Build copy. Um, skewed. Perfect. This is lofted. Perfect. Um, for these chests, we just want gut berries. Oops, there was actually gut berries in there. And for this one, I'm just going to clear everything. Um, so for the dining room, we need seven luxury. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll just add a few pedestals in here. And the mess hall, I don't think it needs anything other than another dining table. Yep. So, we're going to make this dining table accessed only for staff, and then these two will be students only. Perfect. All right, we've got our mess hall, and very shortly we will have our dining room. We need to push the fog back, that's for sure. And we can have everybody assigned to their cots up here in the bedroom, actually. That would be perfect. Gosh, it's hard to, to click these. I think they're all assigned now. We should be good. All right, so it's day 16. We finished We finished 15 full days. Um, I don't think we had any emergencies yet. This was on the hardest difficulty settings the game has to offer, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um... You know, the battles are definitely a challenge. What are you doing? Just waiting. Idle staff. I'll give you something to do. Um, the battles are definitely a challenge, but they're doable. Um, especially, I think, if you just start with the right mages and get um, students pretty quickly. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you found it entertaining. If you have, I would really appreciate a like. And, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you, is Am I doing anything that you didn't think about? Am I doing something wrong? Um, I know that some of the solutions I put in place like are probably not long-term solutions. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, uh, where we go from here. Um, like, this conservatory definitely does not have enough room for uh, once we get a few more mages, so we'll have to expand this. Um, that's just one instance of, you know, temporary room structure, but um, I think overall we're doing really, really well. I'm, I'm really happy with um, how far we've come in just 15 days, and yeah, I think next time we'll definitely do some shuffling of the students and probably some promotions you know initially i was like not super gung-ho about curtis but um they have proven themselves in battle they've got a lot of hp they've got a lot of mana and they've got good power and speed so maybe we just go ahead and hire them um also there's danny who danny is a powerhouse um very happy with him um yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage, and he already has done a lot of damage. It's been making the fights a lot easier, so we'll we'll see. Um, we'll probably have to say goodbye to Buttercup, but that's okay. So anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Um, I am think I'm going to try to do something a little more consistent with this run. I am going to try to do at least two uploads a week. And I'm probably going to do them on the same day every week. So this episode should come out Monday. And the next episode will come out on Thursday. And um, every episode, I want to do at least 10 days, probably more like 15 days. Um, so they will be longer episodes. But I want to show everybody, you know, the new difficulty settings and how you might manage to survive. Because surviving without preparation is definitely difficult in this setting. So um, I hope you all are doing well. I am glad to be back, 
and I can't wait to talk to you all in the comments. All right, hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Bye.